here we go we got our battery pack uh, all seven Tesla batteries we look at our voltage down here and we're up to 175.6 uh, and uh, 9 amp hours and the nice thing is we got a working clutch so we can we can get a nice easy takeoff although this takes off nice and easy thanks to the controller maker the Zilla controller maker who figured a way to make a high-powered controller that also is nice and smooth Well, the shift linkage seems to work good. Because I haven't gone through all the gears. It seems to have a little pep there. I'm going to put my my meter over here on amperage because that's what we want to see. And we're going to keep it under 200 amps because we got a brand new motor. got a clutch, you got to use a clutch. It doesn't shift without it. Usually when we take the clutch out, because well, we don't have the flywheel, there's not a lot of rotating weight. I just shifted them into fourth gear, because second felt. Yeah, this is a good pickup in a second. How fast are we going right now? Uh, I guess uh, about 35, 40 maybe, 35, 30. The speedometer is in increments of 25 so that it can get up there to 150 miles an hour. Funny, this says no power brakes right now, but it brakes feel good without it. I wonder if the electric car inspector will be out there. How fast are we going now? Oh, well, we're going 50 now. Wow. Still I'm going to try to hold it at 50. But if it only used 60 amps, this would definitely have a 100 mile range. And it, it looks like it is, too. I am it. That's pretty impressive, 60 amps. 
because we have, you know, maybe 100, 150 workable amp hours. Man, this is looking a lot better than my Porsche. <laughs> I hate to say that. That's mine must really, because I'm using I'm using the same current as this, and I'm almost 300 volts. I don't know why mine. I think I got uh, low tires or whatever. the electric car inspector is open today or not. Let's see if he's hanging outside there. We got no horn. No. <laughs> you want me to record this? Yeah. <laughs> 